Hey guys, welcome. Let me know what color should I paint this beautiful Porsche right here. I thought about blue, maybe gray, or maybe blue and gray. Y'all let me know the combination. I also thought about doing a LS swap on here, but I might just keep this engine the way it is because it is perfect, There's nothing wrong with it. So guys, with this Porsche 944 engine, we did turn it over, but we have not thrown any starting components at this bad boy, such as the battery, the starter, and the ignition switch. And I know it will start once we get all the three components, but I haven't been too much focused on that because I wanted to get quality parts. Recently, the starter had broken in half. I don't know how that happened, but it just broke it in half. Um, and we just got to check other little things, but over oh man why not start fresh i glad this happened as it like motivated me and even like turned something inside of me like you know to get this car you know properly done and all that we also have coilovers that i have been looking at um and been talking about i could go over to coney but they also have another type of brand i have been looking at which uh, was reasonable in pricing which is about like a thousand bucks i think this is my second time saying this i said this before if you haven't recently watched the plans for the 944 video and i don't know if i want to have a manual steering rack or a power steering rack like it's many options we could go at and like i said i thought about probably throwing the ls in here so right now i'm sending this bumper down i already had my other bumper which is on the driver's side sanded but we are doing the passenger side now and man it's turning out really well and i'm actually learning a lot and also need to get some lights across for better lighting but i do have my halo light which has you know great lighting i mean it's doable for me but i could go to extra mile if i want to but that might be down the near future now back on the fender i did start off with 120 uh 80 grit 120 80 and then i finish it off with 320 but so far i have both of the bumpers finished at 120 just got to finish it off with 320 if that make any sense um and it, i'm like i said been coming off really well we had spray paint on here which you know was a bummer but we managed to get it uh send it down to where it needed to be at which is right here let me know what you think about the process. I mean, I think everything is going pretty smoothly. And in between so after I, I sand the bumper, uh, say with 120 and 80, in between, I normally use general uh, purpose cleaner uh, just to keep the surface clean and all, which is something simple, just to keep the space uh, tidy. So, guys, I am going to jack up this Porsche 944. Uh, I did get two new jacks, so I'm going to make use of them. And also might end up getting more jacks um, over time and stuff just because I know I'm going to need it. And also for the Tahoe, which as y'all see, I have got the gauges, but then is the boost gauge and I think a transmission gauge. I want to, you know, keep tabs on that too. Um, Yeah, nothing too crazy, nothing too much. I'll let y'all look under this glorious engine. Also got the wrong uh fitting for my fuel pressure rater uh my fuel pressure regulator <laughs> so i got the wrong fitting uh this is for like a 6.0 the fitting was for a 6.0 but i have a 5.3 so i got to see which thread pitch fit on there um but i do have the full uh the fuel pressure regulator gauge and the sensor uh but the fitting um that you know tighten on there which is like a 90 uh does not fit on there so yeah so guys I do want to remove these two trim pieces right here. And I guess I can use some putty or something. Y'all let me know what they use, like to cover small holes and then send it down and it'd be uniform. Like nothing was there, if you get what I'm saying. Cause once I move these, we're going to have a small little holes. Uh, but anyway, we got the two fenders. We're going to do the door and then we just going to work our way around um, with that. I wanted to use something to remove this um i don't know what you would call this but it basically helps with you know rocks and all that not to chip the paint or anything y'all let me know like would y'all paint over this or would y'all use something to move it because i mean i might end up sending it over anyway but y'all let me know um so we're gonna have to jack this car up in a bit so we'll have to crack these lug nuts uh jack her up and i think that would be pretty much it for the inside. 
as y'all can see, we haven't been in there, so yeah, I wanted to vacuum it up and uh, look through everything. Um, day by day that go, I'm probably gonna forget where everything came from, honestly. Um, I did label some stuff on um, what it, you know, go to, but that's pretty much it. And I'm going to check my dash lights, probably upgrade them, and just go from there. So I haven't spent any time in here. So guys, we are in the Porsche 944. Just got off a um, few, about an hour ago. Um, just been trying to edit this video. I was doing like a voiceover on what's going on. But the stuff I said I'm doing, I'm actually gonna do it right now. Like I said, drag up the car. I'm probably gonna end up taking more stuff um, out. But let me know if y'all like seeing little bits of pieces or do y'all like seeing like, you know, the full process. Like the Tahoe, like I know some people like, dang, this thing could have been done. Cause I always, I stay having people asking me, hey, you got your truck done? Uh, rather, you know, Instagram, uh, YouTube comment section or, or in person, um, people ask me. So, I mean, the truck gonna get done, truck gonna get done. Um, that's going to be my next daily. And then the Mercedes, um, I do want to do a supercharger on there, but because I had people ask me that too. So I got to, I'm still doing research on that. I have to just write down like the part list. I just got to either look at a C32, look at that setup or get a whole motor and put it in. But I don't know which one would be, you know, cost effective and stuff. Cause you know what I mean? I like being efficient, and if something gonna work like something, it's gonna work. But now nah, we don't know. We'll see. Um, and then with this car and all that, yeah. So I got basically got three full of hands and all. So I want to just like get everything done. I'm going back and forth. I'm trying to create content. I'm trying to get like a different audience of people. Um, I know I have people for the 944. I may have people for the Tahoe, and I may. I know I got a good bit of people for um, the Mercedes. I know that for a fact. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I just, you know, keep bouncing back with me. Uh, I want to, you know, get stuff done. I don't want to be a half answer, if you know what I mean. Um, and I try to diagnose things here and there. I might be wrong, but I like uh, showing my uh, trial and error um, because, you know, we don't always get stuff right the first time. But long as we learn, and try to like use some common sense, we will be straight, you know? Just I guess, a little, use a little common sense, a little thinking and stuff, and just get through it and do research. Um, but me, yeah. I like doing trial and error, so yeah. That is gonna be pretty much it. Uh, if y'all stay this far, man, make sure to subscribe, make sure to share to your family, friends. I mean, I really don't care, just share it. Um, like I said, just I'm just a small, channel uh just trying to show like i mean it don't matter what type of you know cars you have as long as you find joy and what you have and you you know take pride and in stuff in, uh, into it then go that route and all that um and i just want to like connect with people more and stuff like with like um these type of cars because it's like more um let's say guys the word i'm looking for is common I'm trying to be relatable as possible, rather it's with the 944, because you can do a lot of cool stuff with the 944 itself. Rather you throw an LS, 2JZ, any other thing, this car is pretty cool and stuff. The truck, same thing. You got a whole pool of people uh, for the Tahoes, the Yukons, GMCs, rather they single cabs, crew cabs, SUVs, they all basically all the same. And, you know, people like doing cool stuff to their trigger stuff. People like seeing other people, um, I say, 
uh, victories or trial and error so they can learn from it and all that. Because me, I'm learning a lot from like uh, other people channels and stuff, uh, which is really cool. Uh, rather they smaller than me or bigger than me, I'm still learning from the other guy and stuff, which is very unique. And same with the E320, like people want to see a supercharger on there. Some, some may act so somebody, it's, it's, it's things that people want to see and, um, and you make you you know I want to make it happen and stuff, but we're gonna save that for later. But I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna quit all the talking. I'm actually gonna try to you know get to work, try to get everything uh, where it need to be at. Um, just taking one step at a time. Always take one step at a time. Do not overstress yourself about nothing. Life is too short to be overstressing. Um, I had to you know uh, teach myself that like way like a couple times before because it's things that you want to get done but things just take time and stuff and i'm just one guy so me i'm just really chilling and stuff i mean if stuff get done and get done i'm gonna show the progress of what i got and stuff and i'm actually taking my time and i'm actually like really like filled with joy when i'm doing this stuff um like it's just bringing like a whole nother you know person out of me even though i'm already like a good behind person and stuff genuinely and all that it just bring something even more out of me just to want to have the passion and all that you know the forward and to show other people and stuff because people always ask me questions and i'd be showing them and all that i'd be having the willingness to show them <clears throat> but it's a learning process i'll tell you that especially if you're doing something new rather i was you know like i was doing the welding throwing the transmission in all that was new to me and stuff i'm um, pretty sure people been doing this way before me but everybody always have like a different learning curve and different learning experience uh when it come to things so just because somebody else did it guaranteed a next guy not gonna know it and it always be like that like you learn something new every day always and it's windy as hell but anyway i'm gonna end the video off this and i'm gonna um put this in a clip or whatever i'm just giving y'all raw footage and all that i mean i just i gotta get take a shower too soon and all that clean myself up looking rougher right about now but who cares um but anyway i see y'all uh stay tuned for more videos i don't know the pacific days i actually post i usually post like today's tuesday i might post tuesday more like thursday friday when i do the pov's and all that little good stuff but anyway that's pretty much it i see y'all later